In the digital age where social media platforms have become an integral part of our lives, Snapchat stands out as one of the most popular choices, especially among teens and young adults. With nearly 100 million daily users and a staggering 400 million snaps sent daily, it's no wonder that criminals have identified opportunities for exploitation, raking in an estimated $3 billion annually from various cyber crimes. One of the most distressing issues arising from Snapchat's popularity is sextortion, or cyber blackmail. In this video, we'll discuss what sextortion on Snapchat is and the steps you can take to protect yourself if you become a victim. But first, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll stay up to date with what these criminals are doing and be provided with the information you need to keep yourself protected. Don't wait, tap that subscribe button now. Sextortion is a nefarious crime where criminals manipulate individuals to extort money by threatening to expose compromising videos or images. This criminal activity is not only a serious violation of personal privacy, but also can lead to severe emotional distress for the victims. Frankly, it can be and has been a life ruiner for people. Sextortion scams on Snapchat are becoming alarmingly common and can be difficult to identify. Scammers create seemingly genuine user profiles send numerous friend requests, and engage in flirtatious conversations with potential victims. They build trust with their targets before persuading them to engage in video chats or share sexually suggestive content. Once the victim is ensnared, the scammer abruptly changes their demeanor and demands money, threatening to release the compromising content if their demands are not met. To intensify the pressure, they may provide screenshots of the victim's friends list and other personal information that they've gathered, including addresses, their workplace, or their school. Honestly, they do their homework. It's amazing how in-depth they can get. What should you do if you're a victim? Well, if you find yourself in the distressing situation of being blackmailed on Snapchat, it's crucial to act promptly and decisively. It's very important that you don't panic, don't challenge them, don't pay them, and absolutely do not block them. Doing this will only escalate the situation. You really don't want to make them angry. Instead, engage them in the conversation. Use this time to stall and get the help that you need. You can learn more about this process in our video, How to Handle Sextortion on Your Own, which will be linked in the description. Now, once you have a grasp on the situation, here's what you need to do to proceed. Secure your Snapchat account. Change your Snapchat password immediately and enable two-step verification to prevent any unauthorized access to your account in the future. Unfriend the scammer. Remove the scammer's account from your friends list, but as I said, do not block them. This action will prevent them from seeing your content and location, although they may still attempt to message you through message requests. Report the scammer to Snapchat. Utilize Snapchat's reporting feature to report the scammer. While this may not result in an immediate resolution, it does help in documenting the incident. Most importantly though, seek professional assistance. It's imperative to understand that facing blackmail and extortion alone is neither necessary or wise. The emotional toll and complexity of the situation requires support. And this is where organizations like our team here at Digital Forensics Corporation comes into play. With our expertise and advanced technology, we offer a lifeline to victims. By intercepting and mediating communications, we safeguard your privacy while dealing a decisive blow to the blackmailer's influence. So in conclusion, as Snapchat continues to be a prominent platform for communication and self-expression, it's essential to be aware of the risk associated with it. Sextortion is a serious crime that can have severe consequences, but by following the steps outlined in this video, you can take proactive measures to protect yourself. Remember, you are not alone in this, and until next time, Stay safe out there.